Hello there! Today we are going to do some cooking. What we're going to do is... Okay. I'm not going to pat you. Move! Come on! Okay. So when my nan moved house a few years ago, she gave me this box here. At the time it wasn't pink, I got it spray painted pink because it was a little bit rusty and wasn't looking so great was full of heaps and heaps of recipes from the 60s and 70s. These little cards that have the recipe on them. So I thought that today I would choose mm, two things from this box of recipes and make them. We're going to make the fabulous quick and easy tea cake. make bacon and pineapple flapjacks but I'm gonna have to find something else to put in it instead of bacon and I don't really eat bacon I really miss bacon so I just finished filming that video and then went to edit it and realized that half the time my face isn't in the shot so I'm going to have to try and fix that but just Bear with the fact that my face is awkwardly going to be cut off it here for most of the video. So to make the quick and easy tea cake, you are going to need a cup and a half of self-raising flour, half a cup of sultanas, half a cup of sugar, one cup of boiling water, a teaspoon of butter, a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb soda, one beaten egg, one grated apple two, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. First thing you gotta do is preheat the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Next, get some spray oil and coat a cake tin with it so that you can pop the cake out easily when it's cooked. Soften the butter in the microwave so that it's a bit squishy. Then add the butter and the sugar to the mixer. Beat it on high speed until it goes pale and is well combined. And this is what it should look like, pale yellow and a bit crumbly. Sift in the flour slowly. and then mix it slowly so that it doesn't fly out and make a massive mess all over the kitchen. Add the boiling water, the egg, the grated apple, and the cinnamon and bicarb soda. And then give it a mix. When you've mixed it, the batter should be a bit runny but also a little bit sticky. Add in the sultanas and fold them in with a spatula. Don't mix them with the beaters because the beaters will chop them up. Scoop the mixture into your cake tin. Because it is a bit thicker, you will need to give it a helping hand by distributing it around the cake tin evenly with a spatula. Once all the cake is in the tin, hit it on the counter a few times to remove the air bubbles and then pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. You'll know when the cake is done when you can stick a skewer in the middle and it comes out clean. Don't freak out that you've stuffed the cake up when it doesn't rise. Tea cakes aren't supposed to rise. Let the cake cool a teeny bit and then transfer it to a cooling rack. If you want to, you can dust some cinnamon sugar on it while it is still warm to add some more spice and sweetness. For the flapjacks, you will need one cup of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, a pinch of cayenne pepper, one egg, three quarters of a cup of milk, one tablespoon of melted butter, some pineapple and some feta to replace the bacon. 
sift the flour, salt and cayenne pepper into a mixing bowl. Then add the egg and milk to the dry ingredients. Beat well to make a smooth batter. It's like pretty runny. Melt the butter and add it to the mixture. And then fold it in. Then add the pineapple. I just had some pineapple rings that I just ripped up and put in. I used three. Just use however many you want though. And then do the same with the feta. Just grab some and crumble it in and just sprinkle it around. And then stir it with the spatula for the same reason as we were stirring with the spatula with the raisins. You don't want to chop it all up into gooey pieces. Next, heat up a fry pan and spray it with a little bit of spray oil. To cook the flapjacks, take two spoonfuls of mixture per flapjack and place them onto the fry pan. on that side until bubbles start appearing on the top. Then take a spatula and flip them over. I am always terrible at this step and it just it always takes me like 10 attempts to flip it over and I just I just made a mess. So try and do it better than me. Let the other side cook until it is golden brown on both sides and cooked all the way through. Keep cooking more until all the batter is gone. <laughs> 